Hi artists! Today we are going to make some art inspired by James Goldcrown. James Goldcrown is an artist who uses hearts in lots of his art, especially in murals. We are going to make four different types of James Goldcrown art using four different kinds of materials. You can decide which materials you would like to use to make either one, two, three, or four different artworks. For our first James Gold Crown inspired project, we are going to use just regular crayons. Let's start by first drawing a heart. How do we draw a heart? I'm going to start with the color red. This is how I draw a heart. First, start at the bottom of the heart, which is the point, and then go up, like making a diagonal line. And now go up on the other side, like making a letter V. Now I can add the curved part of the heart. So one curve, and then the other curve. And it doesn't have to look perfect, but I can go back and make it thicker if I want so that it's an even bolder line. Let's fill our entire paper with crayon hearts. Great job! How many hearts do you think you could fit on your picture? Don't forget you can overlap the hearts so that some of them are on top of other hearts. Now I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, but this time I'm going to use colored pencils. So let's review again how to make a heart. This time I'm going to start with a darker color so it's easier for you to see. Remember to start your heart, start at the point, Make a diagonal line and then another diagonal line going the opposite way to make a letter V and now curve and curve and there we have a heart. Let's fill our entire paper with colored pencil hearts. Okay, great job filling your paper with colored pencil hearts. It looks a lot like our crayon one, but using a different material. Guess what? We are making more hearts. This time I'm going to use my skinny markers. And I've turned my paper into a little bit of a different orientation. For our other two, my paper was vertical. For this one, I'm going horizontal. And this is why I'm going to make a rainbow pattern with my hearts. So let's start with red. Again, let's review how to draw a heart. This time because I want to go with a rainbow pattern, I'm going to start my red hearts on this side. So from the point, we're going to go up at an angle and then up at an angle, like making a letter V, and then curve and curve. All right, I am going to remember that I want to fit the rainbow. So I'm gonna do red, and then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Here we go.
you might notice that this time I'm not overlapping my hearts. I could if I want to, but I don't really want to this time. So I am not overlapping my hearts, but I am moving on to the next color in my rainbow, which is orange. Here comes yellow. After yellow, green. After green, it's time for blue. And finally, purple. And there you have it. That is my rainbow order heart picture. Did you notice that not all of my hearts are perfect? That's okay. It makes my art even more interesting. And I think your art can be interesting too. Wow, we've already made three heart pictures. Now for our fourth one, we're gonna change things up a little. We're going to actually color in some of our hearts and then layer more hearts on top. So I want to use my lighter colors on the bottom. Lighter colors are going to be yellow and pink and let's see, a light blue. Those are going to be the colors I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with pink and let's draw a heart again. Let's see. So at the point, go up and then up in the other direction to diagonal lines to make a letter V and then curve and curve but this time I'm gonna take my time and color it in so there's no white spots in the middle of this heart so this heart is totally colored in okay Let's add a few more completely colored in hearts using our lighter colors. Okay, there I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colored in hearts. And none of them are overlapping. Now I'm going to overlap these colored in hearts with hearts like we did before, but I'm using my thicker markers. You could even overlap them with other materials like your thinner markers or crayons or colored pencils. I'm gonna stick to the thicker markers since that's what we're using in this particular example. Again, start with a letter V and then finish the curved parts. So let's fill in the rest of our picture.
Okay, so there's a different version using colored hearts and not colored hearts, but filling my entire paper. I hope you enjoyed making all four kinds of hearts in the style of James Goldcrown. What other art materials could you use to make your hearts?